Just a quick question, am I the only one who thought that they would emerge from this quarantine cocoon a glorious slim thick butterfly? Who knew that blatant inactivity and constant overeating would result in me just becoming a fatter caterpillar? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and to day one of my weight loss journey. My name is B, and I stepped on the scale this morning and realized that I had hit a personal best. Yep, the little illuminated rectangular face staring back at me told me that I was the highest weight <laughs> that I have ever been in my life. 252.4 pounds. Now, as you can imagine, me being the person that I am, I haven't worn real pants since this whole shelter in place thing happened. So um, I'm a little bit, a little bit worried that none of my work clothes are gonna fit me anymore. But you know what? It's all good because we're here, we're addressing the problem. We're gonna do the damn thing this time. All my reasons for wanting to lose weight are pretty standard. You know, I wanna be healthy. I wanna get revenge on all the enemies who've wronged me in the past. You know, just girly things. I'm kidding about that last bit, but it would be really nice to be thriving when I run into certain people. Not gonna lie, I'm just saying. And wouldn't you know it, I'm just also just chock full of those shallow surface level reasons for wanting to lose weight, like aesthetics. I recently graduated college and got my first grown up job. I don't really know how to dress business slash business casual, especially in this body. My current fashion go-to is every single color cardigan in the rainbow. You know, and I kind of like don't really want to look like a frumpy McFrumperson anymore. Like I'd kind of like to like look like I have it put together. And you know, I'm not saying that you can't be plus size and look put together, but I am really struggling with it. Can you imagine a world where a bitch could just walk into a meeting in a sleek pair of high-waisted pants, a nice blouse tucked into that and not be asked when her due date is? I can't because that is not my reality. I have this unfortunate syndrome where all my excess weight is just stored in my uterus. It's not really doing me any favors. But it doesn't matter because I'm motivated and ready to make a change this time. As I've gotten older, I've been able to cross a lot of kind of big life goals off my list of to-dos, but weight loss has always just been sitting there collecting cobwebs alone and scared. But this time is different. My whole point of view has changed. I wanna learn and try new things. And most importantly, I wanna tailor a weight loss plan that is sustainable for myself and hopefully be able to provide value for the people who watch my videos. I just kinda of feel like if I can be successful at this one thing, I can do literally anything because I feel like I have all these emotional and mental blocks that have been preventing me from being successful in the past. I'm gonna to try to like work through those. But there's going to be more on that later. Um, I just kind of wanted to tell you that I'm going to be as authentic and raw and vulnerable as I possibly can be. I want to show everything as it is, like all the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations. And I just want to apologize ahead of time because the likelihood that you're going to see me ugly face cry is extremely likely. It's almost guaranteed. Now, if the promise of someone else's emotional distress isn't enough to get you to hit that like button, I don't know what is. But in all seriousness, if you want to follow along on my weight loss journey, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.